Hey, all of us here of your TV, welcome. Check it out. We're leaving Yuma. That was a great little visit there at the uh, Yuma Territorial State Park. That place is a museum that'll last forever. Isn't that cool? We're going to cross. We're heading in across the border. This crosses a single lane bridge right over to California. <laughs> and we're going to go visit a friend of mine. I can sure call him a friend now. This will be my se second visit up to see him. And you're going to really enjoy this. Look at this old bridge. Look at this thing. They get it all painted. Single lane. Got the old railroad bridge. We're crossing over. Now, welcome to California. We won't be in California long. We only got about 20 miles to go up to. We're going to go up to a little town called Bard. B-A-R-D. Here's an old uh, church, I believe, on the left. This is part of uh, the Indian Reservation, Native American here. There's a casino on this side, too. But still all connected with Yuma. All right, we're just going to take a little back road. We're going to go up to Bard. The goal today, we're going to also get up to... Uh, Imperial Dam, the LTVA, long-term visitor area. We're going to go check that out, too. Looking forward to it. There's a casino on the right. I see a lot of RVs in their parking lot. I don't know if you can overnight there or not. That's something you need better call. All right, let's get on the road. We're going to go up to Cloud Museum. Now this is one for the record books. I was here two, three years ago and I stumbled on this place, this cutting up to the LTVA Imperial Dam. And I stopped and what a gold mine, what a treasure trove of history you're about to see. A gentleman by the name of Johnny Cloud runs it. He's a retired farmer, Been spent his whole life in this area farming. After he retired, he started collecting old cars and all kinds of neat stuff. We're roughly, we'll end up about 20 miles from Yuma, and we'll also be about 15 miles from the Imperial Dam LTVA, and we are right along the state line. The California, Arizona, Colorado River would be just off to the right. Look at the little Quonset hunt type things there. Look at all the palms. This is also a huge area. They grow uh, date palms here, different brands. They produce them and send them all over the world. Matter of fact, Bard, there's a actual producer and a store up there. You can order online from them. But we're not here for dates. We're here for antiques. This is something to see. I'll <laughs> uh, you, you'll see it here in just a minute. We're almost there. This is the place right up here on the right. And this is what I seen uh, a couple years ago when I pulled in. Look at all the model. Look at the model uh, T or whatever it is. Cloud Museum. I pulled in here. I didn't even know what it was. But let's go check it out. Let's have some fun. Here we go. He asked for a $10 donation to help keep the thing going. And it is worth every penny plus. I mean, everywhere you look, history. And he's saving it. He's preserving this for future generations to see. He spends all of his time collecting. He goes all over the place to pick up these. All these rigs he drove in himself. Every one of them. He restores them. I mean, look, it, it just goes on forever. There's got to be 200 plus cars in here. <laughs> plus, you're going to see a lot more. And he's got his doggies running around. There they are. <laughs> the greeting committee. They're good dogs. 
Look, going out, look, see who's here. <laughs> Old water tank up there. All right, well, let's start our journey. Look at the old replica Texaco station there. Gas pumps. And when you meet Johnny Cloud, he, he'll, he can give you a story on every single car, how he got it, pulled it in. Most of these have, were, were drove in here. They were running. There's a Zimple right there. Contact them, talk to them, email these guys. Old cop car there. I mean, you can just see it goes forever. Look at all the boat motors. But here's something I didn't do last time. I didn't go into buildings as much. Look at all the wheels up there. Let's go inside. Let's check it out a little bit better. This is what I didn't do last time. Let's get in these buildings. Antique furniture, old stove, Laurel and Hardy, <laughs> fans, scales, old coffee grinders. I mean, look, it's everywhere. Can you imagine collecting all this stuff? Frying pans, utensils, old wooden wheelchair, beds, lights. Look, a little tub for a kid. Galvanized washing machine, there you go. That's only one building of many. <laughs> Cloud Museum. Let's go in this one. Look at the furniture. He even put canned goods on the shelves, an old globe. More coffee grinders. Look at the old time piano. Hello? Want to make a call? <laughs> In real. Some more bells. Look at that big one up there. He knows every single piece that's in here. Old Coca-Cola sign. Old farming gear for hooking the horses, whatever they call them. Now here you go. Here's a showstopper. Look at that thing. An old farm vehicle. Need a part. Horseless carriage right there. Huh. All the old lanterns they used to put on. Oh, look at the bicycles. He he said he just got these in. Look at them. Look at there. There's a little motorcycle. But check out the bikes. Look at this. He even puts a little plaques on each car to let you know uh, how he got them, where they're from. Look at the wheels on those bicycles. That would hurt you hit a bump. <laughs> All these things got plates on them, license plates. The colors. You know, a lot of them been restored, but so be it. I mean, where else are you going to find a collection like this? Look at the mini one. Look at that little guy.
need a sleigh for the desert. There you go. Cloud Museum. People donate stuff to them so it gets preserved. I mean, this is history. Don't let it rot in some field. Let people see this stuff. Look at the windmill. got in here like a blacksmith shop look at the grinding wheels anvils to pound the metal look at that more stuff There's so much, I'm, I'm, which way do I go? <laughs> which way? I know one building we're going in, that back one there, because it's full of cars. Here's the Bard Post Office. What a replica, huh? Look, got the old mailboxes in it with the combination. Remember, spin in the combination, get your mail. No place for the clerk. Some old posters, just like an old post office. Safe, look at that safe. Desk. And there you stuff your mail. Got even got the little bell on the counter to ring for service. <laughs> We'll do that little building next. Let's go back to this big one. I'm going to take a walk in here, and this one will open your eyes, too. Old gas pump there, but look at all the cars. Everything been restored. I think all of them start up and run. Can you imagine? Got them sitting up on blocks so the wheels don't rot out on the ground. Tires. See, there's one of them little plaques. What it was cost when it was new? 850 bucks, brand new. Of course, back then that was probably like a two year salary. Anything and everything antique. What's this one? T. Turing, 1917 to Think of the parade you could have with these in a row. <laughs> Fill her up. Give me three gallons, huh? <laughs> Isn't that something? Just clean old cars. Out here is the ones he's working on to put in his museum. These are the ones that come in. That's where he does all of his work out back here. Fixing up old stuff. Put it on display.
Wait, there's more. <laughs> we gotta go check out this other building, the mercantile building. Look at all the branding irons, look at that. Clouds mercantile, let's go on in. Old bottles, look at the lamp. Old dial phone, no one's ever seen those anymore. More coffee grinders. Cash register, look at that. More, what are those, meat grinders? I think so. Every square inch is covered with something in these buildings. This is truly a labor of love here. I'd love to restore old things, collect, and be willing to share it with the world. Mold fridges. There's an old time school bus. Make an RV out of that thing, huh? Workshop. Lamps, lights. Washing machine. Look at the wooden washing machines. Goodness. More cars. <laughs> So if you ever get a chance, you know, we're only 15, 20 miles from the LTVA. This is only about 80 miles from Quartzsite and 20 miles from Yuma. So if you're in this area in the wintertime or any time, you got to come see this thing. You have to. It, it's, if, you, if you're into any type of history, cars, antiques, anything, you'll find it. There's his uh, golf cart he runs around with his doggies. Oop, I just spotted something. We gotta check this out. Here you go. How about an antique RV? Look at this. I didn't see this thing before. Look where the propane is. The awning over the front windows. It goes for rent. <laughs> that must be the water tank there. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. There's an actual ORV. Original seats, radio, lamps, old kitchen. Bunk beds in the back, and an old gas stove. My goodness, look at this thing. <laughs> I'm in. Well, that's a pretty good look around. You could spend an entire day here and not see it all. wood roof on that thing. <laughs> well, back in the old days, this is what the farmers used here, huh? My goodness.
Well, more people showing up, bringing their kids to see it. Isn't that neat? Cool. All right. We need to go find us a LTVA. Long-term visitor area. It's called Imperial Dam. They're still open yet. I bet it's got a lot of people in it, too. We're going to run up the road here. We're going to run right along the Colorado uh, River, along the state lines. Head right on up there. The journey continues. Talk soon.